All right, well, I've got my sugar measured out, and I've got my 27 milliliters of bacteria ready to go, but I still have to label the tubes that I'm going to need, because you have to do this at the start, because once the reactions get going, you won't have time to get this all done. Now, remember that I have uh, flask number three here, and so I have labeled all of my tubes either 3B or 3C. And I've also added on the tubes the time. We're going to do a 0, a 20, and a 40 minute time point. And then for the C tubes, same thing, 0, 20, and 40. Now, there's just six tubes here, but these are only the tubes that I need. Everybody in the lab is going to need the six tubes labeled 1B, uh, 2B, etc., etc. So there's going to be a lot of tubes in here, and you've got to get them all measured out before you start. Okay, at the moment these tubes don't have anything in them, but all the tubes that are labeled B here, they need to get water. This is going to be the blank. And the tubes that have C in them, those are going to get this uh, stuff called ONPG. Of course, that's an abbreviation for a long chemical name, but this is the substrate for the beta-galactosidase enzyme. So if beta-galactosidase is being expressed by the bacteria, then it's going to react with this, and that's going to produce a color change that we can watch in the spectrophotometer. Now, each one of my tubes is going to need 200 microliters of either the water or the ONPG. So I've got my pipetter. I've set it for, uh, for 200 microliters here. And just a quick uh, review of the pipetter. You just need to tap the tip on. It doesn't have to be hard. Then to measure accurately, you're going to gently push down with your thumb. Then pull out the sample that you need. There's 200 microliters of water and then go ahead and transfer that to your tube. And see that I'm putting the tip all the way down in the tube. I'm not trying to drop it up from high. So we'll do all of these. Now, I'm going to switch the tip when I'm done. And now my tubes of ONPG. Again, 200 microliters in each one of these tubes. Take your time and when you're done, it's good to give them a quick inspection just to make sure they all have uh, the same volume in them and that you haven't missed a tube.